What we're going to look at is from AS chemistry, we're going to remind ourselves about how we make esters, and then we're going to extend it to the wonders of A2 chemistry. So, basically, if we go back to GCC, making esters the way that we know and love, um, so method one, this is what we did in lower five all those years ago. You take a carboxylic acid. Um, and an alcohol. This is in equilibria. I use a catalyst of concentrated sulfuric acid. And it gives me an ester and water. So key things is equilibrium. I need a concentrated sulfuric acid catalyst. I make my ester water. What people get confused about is how to draw them and how to name them. Easy way to do it, let's do our carboxylic acid. So I'm going to start with ethanoic acid. And oh, we my to change colour. Alcohol, you, you can use blue if you like. My alcohol, you need your alcohol to be in a different colour, I'm going to use black, is going to be methanol. Equilibrium arrows. How do I draw my ester? Start with carboxylic acid. Brill, yeah. Start with my carboxylic acid. Just so the double bond and get rid of the OH. <laughs> get to this stage, C double bond O, and then stop. And then you put the O on and the pH will be negative. Cool, yeah. Start off with that O, and then just work backwards, and I produce my ester. And the water. Don't need to know, it actually comes from the, that H there and that OH. Is that the water system? Yeah, you're okay. So it gives me, um, let's just say, H2O. Well, I don't like how you draw your equilibrium arrows. Uh, get over it. Okay, <laughs> so, how do I name them? Well, you'll know this because you've just done a test on it. Yeah, you didn't do it. This is going to be, as we know, ethanoic acid. Methyl. Uh, yeah, cool. This is methanol. So it becomes methyl. Ethanoate. Perfect. That's all there is to it, really. Or, you know, you know all of that from your uh, uh, AS days. So nothing too scary. Now that's fine, but there's a problem with this method. One of the problems is that it's equilibrium. And it doesn't generally go to a very, very high yield. Oh, I also need to reflux as well. So concentrate H2O and I need to reflux to get that to go. Okay, so we've got our slide problem. The main one is it's in equilibrium. So there is an alternative way to make an ester, which is a much better way, it's a more reactive way, and it generally gets better yields. Is that method two? So, oh, we can do this, we can do method two, and this is going to use something called an acid and hydride. What on earth is an acid anhydride, you'll be wondering. What does anhydride mean? Anhydride. Without hydrogen? Water. Without water, yeah. Uh, without uh, water. <coughs> so it's an acid without water. So, to try and explain what it is, to make it together, what I'm going to do, so we we draw two. So I'm going to draw two ethanoic acid molecules. But one of them is going to be Kind of the end bit is upside down. I'm just doing it upside down. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But then it'll explain why. Oh, oh, sorry, you're right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Doctor O, do we need to use colours? I was, I was, I knew the height should be. Oh, I was seeing. I was seeing. I think I can do it. 
So, without water, I'm going to remove water from that. So I'm going to remove that OH and that H. That's going to give me water. And let's draw what's left. That's going to give me CH3, you join them together. C double bond O. Oh, that bond, I've removed that. Where's that going to go? It's going to go to that O there. And then I just carry on. And that is ethanoic and hydride. Yeah, so if it was. We did that in biology, didn't we? If it was propanoic yeah. and hydride, you'd have another CH2 group. So you'd be CH3CH2. Yeah. So you can't have a certain. Oh, you want another yeah. one down here? No, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we did this in biology. Good. So the equation goes now acid and hydride plus an alcohol. So my alcohol remains the same. Do you get no water though? I'm not going to make it. Yeah, you get no water. Do you not bring any water with that? Plus my alcohol is now going to give me, and look, no equilibrium arrow. Ooh, excited. It's going to give me my ester plus a carboxylic acid. So is it acid and hydride plus alcohol? Yeah. It's still using the right? No, so I'll draw it out now. So an example would be. Say ethanoic anhydride, which we've just drawn. Oh, so you're, oh, you're using that as your. My, sorry, yeah, sorry. Plus my alcohol, I'm going to use methanol again. So CH3OH. I spell ester wrong every single time. And that is going to give me, I do exactly the same. So, I start with drawing this CH3, C double bond O bar, same way as before, stop, don't draw that O, draw that O. What am I left over with? Stop to move the box. I'm left over with that bit and that hydrogen, which is my carboxylic acid. So, in terms of names, this guy is ethanoic anhydride. Is this one under equilibrium or not? No, no equilibrium for this one. That's the beauty of it. Plus methanol gives me methyl ethanoate plus ethanoic acid. And that's a really good way of making an ester. No equilibrium arrow, but the pain is you've got to make your acid and hydride first. Yes. So when they're making extras, which one do they use? Um.